this is one for all you enthusiasts out there. It takes about an hour to prep and in one, one and a half hour, maybe two to finish up. And uh, yeah, some money went into the wig and the Alamore plastic there. So there we go. Starting this off with the ears and we've made a little shape template here and we don't want to paint too much so we are going to use green paper and also green foam sheets. So we cut out this little strip here, that's the additional 3D uh, kind of feeling we want uh, <laughs> for the strip to the edge of the ears. Alright so there's our green foam sheet. And uh, yeah, place that template on there for the full ear, paint along it, and cut it out. If you don't have green foam sheets, you can, I mean, you can use cardboard if you like. Just paint it green and you're good to go. Doesn't have to be that complex. Anyways, since we did have those foam sheets and the green paper, of course, we made it like this. Anyway, with the ears cut out, we need to make them more little uh, zombified, so we cut some jacks in them. Blah. Yeah, that's an old ear. And some dark green tones there on the edges, as well as some black. And then we set it with a hairspray, I think it is, uh, at the end here with the blue thingy on it. And there it is. Yep. So continue, no we don't, of course, well continuing with that nice little green strip we cut out in the beginning, adding a little depth to that ear design, good to go. Next up we have teeth, and the teeth are made from Elimorph plastic, which you can order at uh, elimax.com, and of course uh, we have made 6000 tutorials on how to make these teeth. So I'm going to link one there right on the screen so you can have a look. For those tiny little horns there along the face, we are using clay. Any kind of clay will do really. And uh, you can do it with the Elimorph plastic as well if you like. But this, this was a lot faster. Especially when we are making a lot of them. So basic clay, shape it like a cone and you're done. Now mixing up that liquid latex paste, basic baking flour and liquid latex, turns into a paste that we can shape on top of this face cast. If you don't have a face cast, don't worry, you can use any kind of flimsy plastic mask or anything you can get a hold of, which is uh, face shaped really. But usually a plastic thin mask should be easy to get a hold of, you can create it on top of that. The important thing is that it fits your face. So find a good reference image of this crazy looking gremlin and get your shaping skills going. This is probably the hardest part, uh, getting to terms with that latex paste and really, you know, find a way to shape it. And Ellie is dipping her fingers and tools in additional latex to uh, make sure those fingers and the tools don't stick when she shapes it. Bring out those horn pieces and you're good to go. Sink them in there. And the same goes for our teeth. We sink them straight into that mouth and call it a day. Well, not really a day, but you can quickly dry this mask in the microwave oven. Just go short bursts, about 10-15 seconds pop until it's dry or just leave it overnight and continue the day after. All right, get rid of that hair and uh, a little bit of oil there in the hairline to make sure we don't get stuck in the latex. And then with a glue stick we force those brows down and protect them. Next up, give that mask a once over once it's peeled off and make sure you have holes to breathe, either through the nose or the mouth as we do in this case. Try it on, yep, we can breathe. Now let's pop up some Prose to, uh, to, yeah. 
any year now, Ellie. And speaking of years, I know uh, I promised Ellie not to tell anyone, but it's her birthday tomorrow. So what do you say we go bananas with the comments here on YouTube? And why don't we uh, try to break our Instagram account with congratulations wishes, huh? What do you say? Let's give it a shot tomorrow. And if you're wondering how old Ellie is, well, that's a totally different story. Back to the project with our skin adhesive applied to the prosthetic and to our skin, we can stick it in place. And then we revert back to a little, all right, hot chick in the middle of the frame here. What's this? Well, never mind that. Anyway, we line the edges there as well with skin adhesive. And then we do a little classic. We revert back to, not to the ginger in the background, but we revert back to paper and, uh, and skin adhe adhesive um, to rough that edge up so it doesn't end that abruptly. And since this is kind of a zombie uh, Greta gremlin thing, it kind of looks nice with the rough edges. So, a little paper there along those edges and then green paint bonanza. And for added dynamics and the look, we switch to a yellow tone here. Blend the two together. Using that yellow as sort of a highlighter. I can't speak a little bleh, bleh. <laughs> using, uh, using it as a highlighter, yeah. I like the comment we got uh, a few videos back when uh, <laughs> when someone said uh, she has gotten a guy from Fiverr to do the voiceover. <laughs> I'm guessing that's me. Well, I'm not from Fiverr, I'm telling you. Anyway, lip time and deep, insane red. Well, not that deep. It's more like signal red, actually. Uh, the thing is, in the movie, these lips look outrageous, but these days, everyone's lips look like this. So, I mean, it's nothing strange, really, except it's strange, if you ask me. Chill with the lips, ladies. Or do what you want to. It's your bodies. Anyway. Some white tones there on the horn pieces. Or, it's not horns, what do you call it? I don't even know what they're called uh, in English. I am sorry, help me out. Um, anyway, a little white color on them looks pretty cool. And then it's uh, sort of contouring with a darker shade of green here. Get those nostrils in place. Now with uh, most of the paint job done, let's uh, fix all the uh, edges there um, around this makeup. So green hairspray, uh, green hairspray color, and then we uh, go for black as well. We're gonna have a wig on anyway, so we're not gonna see a lot of this, but fading it out to black there, Darkening those green tones down looks pretty cool. So, eye shadow time. So, starting off with a base white here because we want that purple tone to really pop. Next up, it's time to wing it. Except Ellie is not winging it when she's doing her wings here. Nope, that's been done quite a few times. And to add to a little bit of that zombie vibe, we uh, make sure that eyeliner and mascara has been running down there. And then we head for a waterline black.
falls is on and then it's time to strip off this black wig at least yep that's the awesome party dress for our gremlin just folding those flimsy flapsy things in there and we've got a pretty cool cut but needs to be green That green hairspray color comes in handy a lot. And with a light touch of the black spray, we get this speckled little look. Pretty cool. Nice pattern. Just have to be really careful not to push too hard. Let's make this green. Yeah, there we go. Looking cool. Now let's just get this attached. This seems to be problematic. Luckily, we have a stand in to do this, which in this case is using tape, I think, to get it in place. And for the ears to get those in place, we are using regular bobby pins and zap it straight into that massive green wig. My clothing looks like a disco ball. In Swedish is Mina Klad also it's a disco killer. This being a zombified, yet uh, gently zombified version. We need a little blood, of course. And some of those worn pieces have fallen out, so why not use that as a nice place for having run in blood? Yeah, get that stipple sponge out. Find the places you like best for that dripping blood. How about the ears, for instance? Now we are almost done. We need to fix those eyes though, so BAM! There we go. Blindy contacts. And after that, you are done. The last part there with the yellow spray in the middle of the ears. Because we finally found that yellow spray. So, oh, I got a message. Yay. Anyway, we uh, we think this came out pretty cool. What do you think about it? And uh, do you have any other awesome movie characters you want us to take a stab at? Tell us in the comments. And again, don't forget Ellie's birthday tomorrow. Yeah, and uh, see you next time. Bye.